Hi, I'm Daniel Kalia. This is my Rolling Stone UK Awards cover shoot. Inspired my writing creativity, it's just, um, I don't know, I just be like, someone will say something or I'll see something and go, that's odd. Or go, I want to see that. A lot, of, a lot of times I just do stuff because I want to watch it. It sounds like it ends up doing it before me, I'm like, all right, cool, wicked, they did it. <laughs> I just wanted to watch it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of things is just, I want to see something that doesn't exist to exist. Um, that's a lot of the impetus. And then also just like, just want to do wave like just do wavy, 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 wavy. That means something that touches people, that gets people talking to each other and go, ah, oh, did you see that? That for me, it's like, it has to have a purple cow element to it. Kitchen um, has been in the works for about 10 years now. We did a taster tape in a, in a, in a barber shop in Holloway, January 2014. And it's taken on a lot of versions, a lot of drafts, a lot of, um, a lot of evolutions. And um, yeah, man, and now we're here. I just want it to reveal who people are, like who you are if you, when you watch it, and then how, whatever you feel about it is real, you know? Like, um, but I do, it does, does talk about community, does talk about fatherhood, does talk about care, does talk about like, you know, looking out for one another and, and what you feel about that. Music in the Kitchen, we've got Labyrinth and Alex Baranowski um, doing the music, composing it. I mean, I've always, I love Labyrinth. I've always been a fan since like pass out days. Um, and I always felt like Pass Out felt dystopian. Like if you play it now, it feels like ahead of now. And so I wanted that, and he's from Hackney. So he understands London, he understands the life. So he brought a lot of like incredible melodies to it. And then we just had a great um, music supervising team that found all these songs. And, like, and we wanted to like feel like London. Like you have a little bit of Afrobeat, you have a little bit of dancehall. I have a little bit of like new age garage, you have a little bit of gigs, you know what I mean? You have a little bit of, you know? Everyone wanted to feel like the melting pot that it is and that was a way to articulate that was through the music. Stepping into a directorial role is a lot of decisions all the time. No, but it's cool, man. It's good, it's good. It's like, again, stretch you like, creatively, challenge you like you meet limitations that you just destroy and throw away and let go everything about it is just challenging and growing you know what i mean i love that it was weird doing it because i've been on set probably like 18 years now so being in that seat was just like oh wow but then i realized how much i'd um learned from people that i'd worked with like directors that i'd worked with that like i've got oh wow i really like this and when there's a problem like oh yeah i remember this director did this and then he would just action it and then it work out so it, uh, it was cool, but it was, uh, it's a challenge, man. It was a challenge. Yeah, one bit of advice I think I got from Steve McQueen, not from, he didn't tell me, like, he, like I saw him on set and I asked him, uh, I think I was nervous on the first day, of, first day of shoot, and then he was like, I was like, oh, what should I do, Steve, what should I do? He's like, well, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, I'm not gonna do the impression. But I said, I, I don't know, he's like, I don't know. He's like, surprise me, surprise yourself. And so um, I carried that with me on set when I was asking actors for stuff and I was like, they was asking me, I was like, so, well, surprise yourself. And then those takes when they did that were the ones that ended up in the film. I've got a lot of my pace of thought from acting and doing low budget films and low short films and when you really got two takes to do something and you have to make a decision. So I'm used to pressure. Um, so I think that's helped, but I think directing is a creative art and acting is an interpretive art. So I think in that sense, it's two different disciplines. So there's something that like, when you acted sick, like, but it's just like, oh, it's just practicing and you're just using a different muscle to when you're creating. You know what I mean, and when I did improv, when I saw that act to improv, that's a creative art. It's different to acting. Nuances, but it's a different genre. So it's more that by directors just like, oh, well, what are you gonna do here? How are you gonna make this work? How are you gonna make this scene work? You have to create something in order to make a passageway for to go from one unit of action to another. So that's um, it just calls for different things um, in your brain. But it's all it all speaks to each other and it all enriches each other. I think is I'm a firm believer of just doing everything and just you know become a fuller person. You know? We're winning the league. 
<laughs> Confidence! And win the league. That's how it is. That's how I feel. Big Declan Rice. Tell him again. <laughs> Cool. It's, I can't even lie, it's pretty cool. Like, obviously, growing up watching, seeing the Rolling Stone and that. So it's mad cool, I can't even lie. That's good, that would like, that look good. That would look good in my mum's house, I can't even front.